Well, it's a fine Monday morning, about 1030. I'm headed to uh, the bay. My buddy Joel from Pennsylvania is in town for the day, I think. He's uh, spending a few days at OBX. He's at the uh, Land of Nada now at the uh, Penny Beach. I get a report from him for a little while. I told him if it was bleak, like it has been, to come on up here and join me, but I don't know that he will. I'm going to go. I got to drop that knife off. You remember that knife I picked up uh, last week? The uh, Japanese uh, Masahiro, I think that's what it's called. Well, that fellow went out of town for a funeral, and he's uh, due back. We got back yesterday. But he's dying to get his knife back, so... I'm meeting him right where I picked it up at the Ocean View Fishing Pier, the parking lot. And that's only about three blocks from the cave, so... I'm going to put it in right there at the pier. What they call Sarah Constance Beach. And see what that's like for a half hour or so. I can always go to the east and get to the cave. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. I know there was something else I was going to tell you. Remember last week I got that nice present from uh, Mark Tomchek? Well, I'm going to wear it today. That'll upset the milk cart, I can feel you. It's got to change my luck to where it is. Anything could be an improvement from where I've been the last six or seven weeks. Except for that money clip. It's been mere. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, it's funny. I just got a text from Joel. He says, text me the GPS location where you're going. <laughs> he said, nada is nada. This is bleak. Bleak as I ever seen it, he said. <laughs> ah, I kind of suspected that. So we'll see Joel on the bay in a little while. Stand by. Well, you see, it doesn't look like much breeze, but it's more breeze than I wanted. And we got like three hours for the tides low. We'll see how it goes. Right in front of me is where the money clip came from. Well, the first target is a 1202. It's a damn, uh, where the hell it go to? There it is right there, battery. You see it? Battery. Golly. The first day, this is the first time I had the 920i in the bay. We'll see how she does. Well, there it is, green. You see it? I've been digging for this target three scoops. I haven't got it out yet. It don't sound all that great, but it's only the second target since the battery, and I found this nice green marble. Ah, I like it. Stand by. He's been doing that for 40 minutes. Whatever it is he's doing with some kind of stick. Mmm. As I get up here closer to the cave, you can see the tide is getting off good now. I still ain't found anything but that battery of that marble. But I got a nice little pocket right here by the cave. All to myself. I have seen no one other than that guy with a stick. I ain't seen Joel. Uh, what happened to him? He might have stopped at the pier. I told him I was going to the pier. But then I texted him the address to this spot, which is a little west of there, you know. I mean east. Let's go down in this little pond right here and see what we can find. That's our favorite spot right there, the cave. Stand by. We're going in. Okay. We got here to the cave. A lot of sentinels up here today. 
I see Joe finally made it. I see him coming in back there by where I parked at. See him up there? He's something up in the dry sand right now. Okay, we got company. The land of the cave, Edmond Dantes. Water's terrible. You can't see a damn thing today. Look, it's muddy. I don't like it. Hey, you got a short sleeve shirt on. I'm freezing to death. Oh my, it's nice out here. <laughs> It is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How you been doing? Good. How you doing? Okay. Glad I could catch up with you. Yeah. You ain't caught too much, I don't think. I got a battery and a marble so far. Did you? I got a pull tab. That's it. I hit I hit some loose change in the dry sand coming out over there. That's why I was a little late. Oh, okay. Yeah. But down down at the water's edge was nothing. Yeah, it's been bad the last five six days down there. I mean bad. Yeah. That looks like somebody right there. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, that's the same guy with that stick I saw earlier. Yeah. He looks like he's clamoring or something. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not picking up anything. He's just going around poking poking with that stick. See, he's taking pictures now, he's like. I don't know what he's doing. You Hard sold, to say. You sold? Well, right now, I don't know if you can see it. It's a button. It's a, like a, you know, uh, uh, not a metal button, just a, a button. And there's something else in here that makes a good sound. We got to come up here and take it on the dry sand a little bit and examine it, see what it is. Damn, the button must have fell out. That's what I'm talking about. That thing right there has got a nice sound. It must be some kind of metal doodad thing in there or something. I don't know what that is. My damn button fell out. I hate that. Let's see if we can find that button. Oh, it's still in the scoop. There it is. Come out of there. See it? Nylon button, I guess. Underwear button or something. That's the first one I ever found. Catch you anything? Not so far, sir. How about you? <laughs> a marble and a, a button just then. Well, maybe that fisher hat's a thing. Ring in the scoop! Ring in the scoop! I'm pretty sure it's silver because it came in at 12.45. I think in a quarter. You see it? Let's get that ticket out of there and see what it looks like. Right on, Chiquito. First ring of 2015. Looks like it's iron, don't it? <laughs> ah. Got something on the face of it. Got a star on it. Some filigree crap on the sides of it. Bring it a scoop. Good gracious, fisher hat. Oh boy. I guess that's what it takes. Cut off it. Well, you can see the tides got off a little bit. The water's got a little clearer up this part of the beach. It's a lot of rocks around here. I've dug a few coins here. This is about 50 feet east of where that ring was found. But you can see it's uh, not too bad. Some big white thing right there. 
Lots of big rocks up here next to that pipe. Big fat rock right there. Well, see, this is some targets in here. I don't know what's all going to come of it. Having any luck with your glass? Yeah, it's a pretty good day. Yeah, it's a lot of glass. Pieces, but you know, good. I've seen a lot of it. I can't pick it up, so I just throw it out. But yeah, I got one. I saved one little piece. It's just like this place right here. Damn, my lady give you a blowjob for all that grass. Was that what she looking for? Glass? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say things like that. Joel found one of, uh, I can't think what you call these knives. They flip open knives, you know. Got duct tape on the handle. She's not too bad a shape. It looks like it's relatively new. Got a Little nick in the blade right there. She'll sharpen up nice. Yeah, man. Where'd that guy throw all them pennies that you were talking about? I said kind of up high. Joel found a mercury dime. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice one, too. Almost make the day down on it. What is it? I can't see it. No, I can't either, but that's a nice ticket. I like mercury. Yeah. Well, here we are at the roundup. Is that the uh, knife that Joel found? I gotta work on her tomorrow, I guess. There's my big wusset with a spark plug in the middle. There's a little wusset. <laughs> Paint tube, toothpaste tube, you know, whatever kind of tube that we find a lot of. There's some kind of little gear. Oh, some. The CTX 30 was hot on batteries today for some reason. First target I found was a battery. This is like a little pendant of some kind. But I can't tell if it's got anything on it. It looks like it's broke, you know. It looks like it might have been. I don't, know, I don't know what it was. It's hard to. You never know, I guess. Two pennies a dime. Uh, this is, I think this was an old, uh, what do you call it, a uh, swimming hat. Buckle, you know, it kept the hat on your head, rubber hat for ladies back in the 40s and 50s. This is, uh, I presume, a silver ring, but it came in at 12, 12.45. It's got two marks right at the top of them. I can only make out one, it looks like a nine, so. I'm thinking 925, you know. A button, and like I said, I just saw that in my scoop like I did tomorrow. But that's the first button, non-metallic button I ever found. Okay, uh, I haven't checked the forecast for tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Coming home, I had two phone calls. I got a lot of knives. People won't sharpen knives. Got one guy's got three pocket knives. Another guy's got a whole block of knives, eight in a block. And on my Facebook page, I got somebody wants me to sharpen some knives. I don't know how many yet. I haven't read it. I haven't read it yet. I just got a phone alert, you know, on your phone. I think I found a lot of these today, but they all fell through except for that one bigger one. It's a beautiful day, though. Joel found a mercury dime. You'll see a picture of that. That and the knife, that might have been the best of it. But I like my old green marble. And a silver ring, I guess I have to take it. You know what I mean? Fisher hat. That's right, Mark. Tom Check. Thank you. Good luck to everybody. See you tomorrow somewhere. Sometime, someplace.